we're out there in Arizona. We're cooling, chilling by the pool. And all of a sudden, people start hitting me up. They're like, yo, Chappelle's on Rogan. And he's he's uh, he's hating you, on you, bro. He's throwing throwing shade at you, right? And I'm like, there's no fucking way that Chappelle be throwing shade or even hating or that I, that I would even be on his radar, right? right. Like, so someone sends me the clip and I check it out. And uh, we let, let's play it. Let's play it. doing things online and like andrew schultz the best example i think he started doing those things like long rants like 10 15 minute rants with photographs and punchline after punchline after punchline and then they did a whole netflix special about it like he did a series of netflix pieces on it and what he did was he said okay i can't do stand-up but this isn't stand-up so i shouldn't do stand-up like this because there's no audience so the key to that and he figured it out He's like, the key to this is you got to hit it fast. The punchlines have to come one after the other after the other. It's got to be fast paced and with images. So like he would use all these visuals while he was hitting punchline after punchline. Oh, he, wow. He figured out a new way to do comedy. He figured out a way to do in, internet, Instagram, 10 minute comedy. Well, okay. It was, it's, but, but that's not, like you say, that's not stand up. No. Right? Like this thing that you're describing, God bless him. Yeah. That's not what I do. Yeah, it's different. Uh, yeah, it's different. It's different than the way he does stand up, which is interesting because his stand up is slower. He he holds laughs, he holds pause, he laughs at shit, he fucks around, he works a crowd a lot. His stand up is loose. Right. He has fun. He, he's comfortable up there. Right. But his these little clips that he does on on Instagram are rapid fire, bang bang bang. And he has, works with a series of writers. They all work together. They put these things together. They, they work it out, man. By the time it's done, I mean, it is a polished machine. But he used that time and innovated, you know? And That's clever. Yeah. I don't think I, yeah, it's not, I mean, I'm not interested in it because, <laughs> uh, no disrespect to him, I, I like happening in real life. Yeah. Like, like even during COVID, the, the fact that we found a way to get in front of audiences again meant the world to me. That's what I do. Yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I could throw a slideshow and the shit if I want to, but that <laughs> crowd's not there. What's right. the fucking point for me? <laughs> I know what you mean, but for him, he's coming up still. You know, you'd already made it. Well, you no, just yeah. to get back uh, in there. Uh, yeah, and it's it's a whole different ball of wax. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that thing that he was, that evolution he was able to make, mm -hmm. that's I'm, I'm like the old guy who has that hot <laughs> outfit from the 70s. <laughs> go fashion, go on without me. <laughs> I look fine. I'm that. I'm I'm good. With what I, um, first of all, Joe is the man. Yeah, that was so dope. Like Joe is Joe. just the man, and he is like, he's so rare in that he celebrates other people's creativity and success. Yeah. Like a lot of people who are even at the fucking top, and you can't go higher than Rogan. You know, they they still want to protect what they have, so they won't celebrate. Joe's superpower is his lack of insecurity. Yeah, it is what he like. If I'm interviewing somebody that's smart or talking to somebody that's smart, and I'm Joe Rogan, I'm gonna always try to put little smart shit in there. Yeah, yeah, and, oh, yeah. I need to come up with a good point because yeah, I'm yeah. insecure and I want to be like, well, I'm not dumb. Yeah, yeah, Y'all yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. you talk. I'm gonna. That's why he's a great interviewer. Yeah, and this is the same kind of thing where it's like I'm yeah. egoless. Here's a kid doing amazing things. I love what he's doing. Yeah. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Yes, on the biggest yes. stage possible. Flowers because I yeah. have no insecurity. A lot of people that successful still have that insecurity. And like, well, I can't get flowers because yeah. then they might not think I'm as dope as I am. Joe, don't give a fuck. Yeah. So and. And you are killing it. So he's like, yo, Andrew, killing it. Yeah. Well, that's we. We're doing it. That's yeah. not just me, those things. Mark worked incredibly yep. hard. He wrote them with Fair. me. Robbie as well. F.A. You were helping out yep. them as well. Yeah, Alex, like, Miles with the pictures. That was a group effort. But it was so dope to see him give it up. And, like, if there's one thing that I've, like, tried to, like, continue to pass on that I've definitely got from Rogan, it's, like, when you see other people doing dope creative shit, yep. pass it on. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, I hope that we've used this platform to expose you guys to new people that we think are really awesome. And, uh, you know, I, I I hope we've been doing that. I think we are doing it. I think yeah. we've been putting people on. I think that we've been sharing what we have with other people that hopefully you appreciate it. Um, and now to, uh, to Dave. Uh, I actually, let me just give some context to this. I think I would have reacted the same way as Dave, given how I was described. Because... Mm -hmm. If Dave has no clue who I am in terms of stand up, right? And 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 Joe's describing this like kind of YouTube or Instagram comedy, and you know how we all are. 
The second yeah. you told me about like a funny YouTuber or a funny Instagrammer, yeah. we're like, I don't give a fuck what that shit is. A little slideshow. Yeah. We stand-ups, yeah. Up, yeah. Exactly. We're stand-ups. So it's just like, I understand that first reaction, yeah. right? And then, so I probably would have reacted the same way in that regard. But then when Joe's like, no, he's a stand-up, it's, it's different. And he's he found a way to evolve within the times. And then I think he was a little bit dismissive to it and he was like that's not my type of comedy that's not what i do and i guess the only pushback i would give there to dave is like dave is a household name not because of stand-up yeah but because of a different type of comedy and he's still on any sketch. list one of the goats that doesn't change that but you know but what I mean? most but like, people know him from Chappelle show yeah like sketch show is what made him yeah a household name like if you think of like iconic Chappelle lines you're thinking of lines from yeah. I was a Dave Chappelle stand-up fan before the show. We and, love Dave as a stand-up. And it, was a, it wasn't a lot of people like that. I remember going to see him right before the show came out. It was He was at a theater, but it wasn't like... It was easy to get tickets. Right, right There was right, empty right. seats next to us. Yeah, It's not like he made it as a household name through stand-up. He didn't right. make it through stand-up. He used something else, and then we found him, and then, and then when we saw his stand-up, we're like, holy shit, this guy's fucking prolific. We love him as stand-ups. Yeah. We always knew how amazing he was. Right. And current living, go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And very few comedians break through just as stand-ups. A lot of them will have a show or something else. Exactly. Yes, 100%. It's very rare. Like fucking Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, some people will say me. Yeah. Because of YouTube. Nate Bargatze. Nate Bargatze is another mm -hmm. one. But um, but look, there, it, again, so I think that he would be a little bit more, I guess, maybe understanding of the other types of, of comedy. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all love the person-to-person -person interaction. Yeah. But, like, we're also not multimillionaires and we can COVID test every single person that comes to do a show in a barn. Like, I don't have a barn. Yeah. Most people don't have barns. Yeah. And they don't have millions of dollars to pay for yeah. COVID testing and these types of things. Yeah. So was, there were limitations to what we could do, and we tried to work around those limitations. And then, So do I understand the reaction? Yeah, I think people made too much of it. Like, there's some fucking beat, or like, he's hating on me, or a shade, or that kind of shit. Like, I really don't think it is that. But I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just me. I think yeah. he caught himself, and I've we've all done this. There's nothing wrong with this. You're being a little salty, and then you catch yourself... And I think that's where he said the end part. Like, I'm the dude at the in the '70s with the hot outfit. Like, this oh. is what I do. I think he, he was like, He's I like think, I'm hating. Okay, let yeah, me explain why I'm hating. Let me not hate. And I think he was thinking, I'm kind of hating. And we've all done this, where you're yeah, like, yeah. I think I'm kind of hating. Let me check myself and be yeah. real with myself and say, Yeah, but I'm the, you know, I'm an older dude who been doing stand up 30 years. This is what I know. This is what I'm gonna do. I think he caught himself. Mm. I do think he knows a little bit about. You for sure, us for sure, this podcast for sure. Right. Dave's a plugged in dude. One of the coolest moments in my life as a stand up is somebody telling me this is before Flagrant really cracked off. Somebody telling me a story of Dave Chappelle watching my Heckler video twice, watching it once, playing it back for his friends. One, I fucking scream like a fucking groupie. It was the greatest moment yeah, yeah, as yeah, a stand up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's great. Also, and that's to give Dave his flowers. That still means the world to me, but he's also incredibly plugged in. He knows right. what the fuck is going on. He knows we've had clips where we might have been critical of certain things he did. Yep. I think we tried to be three-dimensional and still give him his flowers as one of the greatest of all time. Yep. To me, probably the greatest of all time. But I think he was a little bit salty about that and took a one or two shots. And then to his credit, checked himself. I was like, you know what, man? I don't need to do that. I'm fucking Dave Chappelle. Right. So let me give the, the, my own... This, yeah, this is what and I know. it is what most people who are, are OGs do. Like, Joe's the exception. Joe's the, the OG who's like, I want to give everybody flowers. Yeah. Like Charlemagne's like that. Like yeah. Charlemagne's the OG that like, he just wants to, to share and like bring people up, et cetera. And then there are also some OGs and I got these fucking tendencies too. It's like, everybody's like, yo, you got to get on TikTok. And I'm like, the fuck am I going to do on TikTok? Yeah. yeah. And if a TikTok you know got popped like, off, we'd be like, fuck that little guy. And then it, as a evolutionary thing, you're growing up. You'd be like, you know what? Let me check myself. Yeah. I'm old. This is what I know. Yeah. I think yeah. that's what Dave was doing. I have no problem with it. I don't think he was taking a shot. I think a moment of insecurity is allowed. Or yeah, yeah. a moment of hating or whatever you call it is a lot. And then he was like, well, I don't It was care. funny because Joe's trying to describe like what we do. And then Dave's like, Dave's like, that's just not what I do. And Joe's like, yeah, yeah we're not talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're talking about what this other guy does. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, but that's not what I do. He's yeah. like, yeah, I know, but you already made it. Yeah. Like they're trying to make it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. what, what, I, I didn't I, listen to the whole buildup, but like it seemed like, uh, yeah, kind of similar to what you're saying. If someone were to ask you like, I don't know, you like certain like prank YouTube videos or something. Yeah. But if someone were to describe it and you hadn't seen it, 
And they were like, oh, yeah, these guys, they mess with people in the grocery store. You'd yeah. be like, oh, that's not what I do. Exactly. Like, Especially if it's in the, in the context of stand-up. Yeah, and talking about stand-up and talking yeah. about what you do. Yeah. And someone goes, oh, you know who else does great stuff? This guy that does these prank videos. And you yes. Go, I don't, that's not You're like, But do. this is not stand-up. Even like, though you actually do like those things, you just right. might not have seen it. Already. That's what I saw it as yeah. kind of like when I rewatched it, you mm -hmm. know? But then when they, then Joe was like correcting it and describing what was going on and all these things, right. and, I don't know, it seemed like a little bit... You know, yeah, I'm PowerPoint Schultzy, bro. What do you, you know what I'm saying? We out here. But I think he, at the end, I think he came around and was like, yeah, but I'm also, I'm old. I'm the dude from the 70s. Right. Like, this is what I know. So I was like, hey, that's, he gave a three-dimensional view of it in the end. Yeah, he I, like, I, I wasn't mad. People put a lot of gas on it. I wasn't. Because it's fun. It's fun it, to put it gas is on fun, it. It's fun, I guess. And I guess you could definitely interpret that way. What were you going to say, Al? I was just going to say, um, like, I agree with what Mark said. And also, he just talks like a goat. Like, imagine yeah. MJ, Kobe, yeah. and somebody talking about how somebody else plays. He's like, yeah, but he don't do what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, MJ said about LeBron, you just got to force him left. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I don't even necessarily take it as shade. It's just like, hey, I'm just so focused on what I do that yeah, like, yeah. everything else doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I, the only pushback I would give with that is like, that, that isn't what you did to get here. You did do other things to get here. You did try to like evolve sketch. Yeah. You know what I mean? You did try and you had the most prolific sketch show in history. So you would think that there maybe be some understanding to comics who are trying to get to that same place. But but again, he might have no clue what the context is. And then maybe he afterwards goes, Oh shit, I did see those things. Oh, now I know what it is. So I, I can't put too much yeah. too much gas on it. Um that's the thing about it. It's like as much as I would love for like one of my fucking idols and heroes like Dave to be like the biggest fan of the of the thing. Like for me, it's so easy to get caught up in the person that's not uh, maybe enjoying your shit or doesn't care or it, what I guess the word he was like uh, it's I'm not interested or whatever right. but at the same time I got one of my other idols and my heroes going oh my god this is great stuff he did yeah. the best thing yeah. during the pandemic it's like I'm gonna choose to po focus my energy there when I was younger I probably wouldn't be able to do that and as I get older like Man, what a fucking blessing, man. The fucking yeah. goat Joe yeah. Rogan is saying, yo, we did some amazing shit and, you know, we did yeah. the best thing yeah. during the pandemic. And, and he thinks it's worth bringing up to Chappelle. Worth like, bringing up to the, the living goat with, with comedy. He was yeah. like, I don't know, for me, that's a, I think we should be very proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I could check my ego and it is what it is. Maybe Chappelle will see it one day and maybe he'll change his tune. And, and if he doesn't, that's fine too. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I think I think the takeaway from this is I'm not gonna get a Chappelle chain anytime soon. <laughs> and uh, and you know what? I can live with that. I think I'll be okay. You know, and if, if Dave wants to rethink that, then um, you know, we can have that discussion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bro, we don't even get chains though. Son, That's fucked up on I, your part. I should get y'all chains. How bro. dare you?